You now do the opposite of your job. What do you do now? I steal food from elderly people and push them as far away from their rooms as possible, while saying rude things to them. This is my dream job. Hey, I go into elderly people's rooms, and make sure they poop themselves, and I don't help them do anything at all. Then it's breakfast time. I don't remind people to come down to eat, and I don't escort people. A couple residents feed me, which is a plus I think. In a real emergency I freak the f out, and leave the situation. Eventually 911 will call me, and bring an injured elderly person to me. I put babies back into people, now imagining people being born from the earth in cemeteries, only to be forced into someone's vagina, when they are old. Thanks for that. That's creepy. Carry on. I drown children. Death guard. I also teach kids to drown. Swim instructor. Tear up flowers and grass. Throw garbage everywhere. And put snow on roads and sidewalks. Raccoon. Trash pandas. The mental image of going around to my neighbor's freshly cleared driveways and shoveling snow back on it is hilarious. Um that actually kind of sounds like fun. I get paid to order delivery and eat it. Nice. I ignore the advice of security experts and make websites with every vulnerability under the sun. Yahoo. 219 million dollars over 4 years for doing. That job doesn't sound like a bad gig. I suck knowledge out of innocent children's heads. Unbang all the Dacia back scammers and start helping them achieve their scam goals. Cram a bunch of used tampons and soiled baby wipes into people's sewer pipes so their toilet doesn't flush. To finance that, I cut all the copper out of their basement and sell it for scrap. So, you do meth. Meth user is opposite of plumber, HMN. Close enough. I research ways to make airplanes louder, slower, and less fuel efficient. Mostly louder. At least your job isn't to crash airplanes with as many fatalities as possible. Coax children into forgetting English. You design the YouTube comment section. Who's seeing this in the current century button that like smash? My job would be to stand at the door and tell people to F off. That sounds pretty fun. So you're a bouncer. I'd think an opposite bouncer would stand at the door and let underage people in and encourage drunks to keep drinking and fighting. Welcome to Costco. Go F yourself. I convince couples to see other people. You are both fundamentally broken as people. I suggest you fill the void in your life with alcohol and anonymous six. Here, have this invitation to an orgy. My friend just bought a zoo, and we plan on sacrificing the animals to the gods to commemorate the occasion. My dream job was always to join a dark cult and summon the Antichrist. Where do I sign up? So you're r slash relationships. Fire the lawyer. Quit gym. Hit her up. Hi there Ashley Madison. Well, she would be convincing people to stay together now. I know that you've both been attempting to try, but really, sincerely, I'm asking you why. You're awful together. You're simply the worst. You're damned and you're damaged. Corrupted and cursed. Your sham of marriage is finished. She spoke. The bond's been corroded and bent till it broke. You've duped and deceived, and you've cheated and lied. You've taken the notion of love for a ride. You've sapped at your comfort, contentment and joy. So find other people to gut and destroy. Except that it's over. The romance is dead. I'll see you next week for our session. She said. I just can't fathom how you can come up with these so quickly. I just saw you on another thread. I write code that actually works. Does it work? Or is it just broken in a non-obvious way? My constant concern. F. It compiled the first time. Me. Back in college. After it goes live. I'll add bugs to it. I'm a programmer too. My response to the question. Was I download large numbers of text files then I erase the content of. And delete each file one by one. My job is to now make sure. That every piece of software a person interacts with is a painful. Frustrating. Harrowing experience that sucks out their soul. So you work for Microsoft. A bunch of toddlers make me lunch and snacks, clean up after me, then put me to bed. I want this life. Oh man, that's way better than the opposite I was thinking of. Usually my response to what do you do, is make sure the kids don't die. So point yeah, I was going to write kill children. Nah, you don't kill children per se. You make sure the kids die. It's a subtle, but important, difference. Technically the blood could be on someone else's hand. You're just a supervisor, intervening when necessary. 
is the opposite of child care child neglect or straight up murder, maybe both, oh dear. I go to people's houses and steal their pizza, I found you. Hi, the Noid was an advertising icon at some point in the distant past, he would ruin pizzas, that was his purpose in life, it beats passing the butter, right, I too ruin pizzas by eating them, it was all fun and games, until Kenneth Laminoid walked into a Domino's pizza in Atlanta, Georgia, with a .357 Magnum revolver, and took two employees hostages. I talk people into committing suicide, and doing crimes, we'd get along. I used to break people out of prison and supply them for crime sprees. Now I develop ways to give people cancer. Now I develop ways to give people cancer. Keemster, I've been told I can sing badly enough to give people cancer. We'd make a great team. I just want to say thank you for doing what you do. That is kind. Thank you. I now unwrap people's burritos that they hand to me and take all the ingredients out and save them. A burrito deconstructionist constructionist, that would make you some sort of burrito banker, there should be a restaurant called the burrito bank, I fantasize about this every day at work, that's a weird, but very boring fantasy. Steal everyone's mail out of their mailboxes, throw it in my truck and ship it back to wherever the F it all came from, they don't need it, I'm anti-mail man, and chase the dogs, I guess the dogs, but sniffs its nose now, world's worst super villain, scene person recuse email from amazon confirming delivery goes outside to check mail to find no package curse you anti-mailman truck painted all black with too fast too postal written in dear blood on its sides i break games so devs can fix them actual job i guess i'm now a dev sweet we can be devs together works on my machine works as designed is my favorite response or you work at bethesda modders will fix it everything F. So it seems we share the same fate fellow it guy, just uninstall the adobe reader. I give people money, and then take away their food, you mean making a purchase, yeah basically. I find people with disabilities, and make their lives harder, I'm an a-hole. Get people addicted to drugs, seems to be much easier than your current job, score, probably more money in it too, trying to quit cigarettes, it's super easy, just pick up heroin. I'm now an end user, as such, I'm typing this with only two fingers, and it is taking forever please send help, have you tried turning yourself off, and then turning yourself on again, sir, I already told you, that I am not a computer person, you're refusing to help me, so I'm going to hang up, discover new lies to, to tell people, ideally lies that have never been told before, good evening, senator, push kids to fight each other at school, promote bullying, Welcome strangers to watch kids play on the playground, yeah, well, those kid fights are going to need spectators, 30 bucks on the pudgy one, he looks like he has a lot of rage. I invite myself into strangers homes, kill them and set their house on fire, emt slash firefighter, oh, so you'd be an average sims player, accurate, well hello, guy montag. I make sure that video games are broken, before being released. Check your PMs. I'm sure a new Ubisoft executive is very interested in you. Destroy houses. I take the material from said houses, and bring them back to the lumber yard. These houses you're la destroying. I'm the ones taking the families out of them, and putting them on the streets. I assist children with autism, to have explosive outbursts in class, teaching them new ways, to escalate into violent reprehensible behavior. I destroy any attempts, to collect useful data. On the weekends I manage the anti-farmers market, which sells inorganic ultra-processed foods made by multinational conglomerates, also cheap factory made artwork and clothing. So your weekend job is a Walmart manger. I get people fat and unhealthy, promote sedentary lifestyles, make sure they live with pain forever, and part time steal crap from warehouses, so you're obby rotten. Now listen closely. I crash airplanes into each other. I direct people to intentionally infest buildings with insects and other pests. Intentionally F the environment. I'm gonna go throw old cans of paint in the river. Wanna come? Yes. Hey slash you slash holler underscore poop underscore dollar. There's still some opening on next leadership of Epa. My job is to break computers instead of fixing them. 
I now perform shtai customer service and act like an a-hole to everyone I see. I rip cables out of the switches creating network outages in my building. Ah, uh, the day in the life of an it destructionist. I think you just described every it text fantasy. An old boss, one of my firsts in the it industry, used to say the perfect network is 10 servers, 50 workstations, 2 printers, and no users. I lock people out of their accounts, and ensure that people can't sign up with new accounts. I kill people, and sometimes, I see people come to life. As long as you're not stuffing people into vaginas. Short story, I was an intern in a rob service slash delivery room and most kids that are born aren't beautiful. They're wrinkled and covered in hair, but one time, another intern, who's known to be the clown of the hospital, attended the birth of, what he describes as, the in-between product of a monkey and a human. So, he looks at the baby, then looks at the mom and says, yeah, let's just stuff this one back in. The mom didn't find it funny, I had to get out of the room, because I couldn't hold the laughter, and your comment reminded me of that, and can't stop giggling, because of that memory, yes, he's an a-hole, and he makes terrible jokes, but he was the only one, that broke the tense environment in a place, where people are constantly dying, I blind people, cool. I put all my clothes on while insulting people. Does this mean you normally say nice things to people while getting naked? Or they normally insult you? I mean I normally say nice things to people while getting naked. Don't forget to throw money at them too. Oh I remember you. You are that gnome girl right? She's like the only porn user name I recognize. I call customers and cuss them out demanding unreasonable credits and free things. They said opposite, Mr. Comcast. Take porn away from the internet. That's how WWII begins. Ah, so a British politician. We need to talk. I don't read Reddit and start doing my actual job. God forbid. Don't joke about that. It's too close to home. I'd actively extract knowledge from children by allowing them to run around beating each other all day until said knowledge quite literally fell from their brains. Over the course of a school year, I'd give them a target grade of becoming feral wild beasts, only communicating with each other through aggressive gestures. I'd take the heat away from people's houses and block the occasional toilet. I forcibly put people's blood back in their veins. I just want to know how I'm taking these drugs out of people. I erase articles from the internet. I now receive and ship goods, make deliveries and pickups, as well as pulling down and shelving inventory for industrial machinery, as opposed to before, when I shipped and received goods, made pickups and deliveries, as well as shelving and pulling down inventory for industrial machinery, either that or I don't move anything, and make sure it all stays where it is. I'm a trucker, and I'm gonna go with this for the most part, because I'm not sure what the opposite would be other than I live in a truck and don't move, no, you're doing the opposite, you don't have to live in your truck anymore, I'm in the same boat as you, I will do exactly the same thing before and after, I'm a dentist, spoon drop operator, forklift, oh cool I'm employed, I currently do nothing, so do I have to do everything now, sounds like too much work, sorry, you need at least 3 years experience, in doing everything, before we can even offer you an entry level position, I do ethyl so now all fs me, I don't like this job, 6 hours of reddit, 18 hours of sleep, I lead satanic rituals for the elderly, so I get, paid for helping professors be worse at their jobs, guess I'm a student again, no, you're now a board member, sneak into people's homes, and break their computers, when I'm not doing that, I call them, and talk to them, until they are completely confused about how their technology works. I save animals lives, and I also kill them. Wait a second. I walk into the men's locker room at LA Fitness, you sup all the soap, throw body fluid, pathogen ridden paper towels everywhere, start fights, and smish on the toilets, so I become one of our members basically. I fall down in restaurants, and expect thousands of dollars, because of it, you're my grandmother. I wreak havoc at a building where a man breaks people's spines. I'm no longer a prison librarian, I work on the outside, and instead of providing information I throw books and magazines into a very large incinerator and burn it, no information for you. As a library school graduate, this really made me laugh, props to you. What do they teach at library school? I put chickens back together. 
unfile papers, cancel orders, steal back payroll taxes from the eyes, cancel paychecks, force ups to ship all items back to vendors. I break computers, and I'm rude to people, so basically the weekend then. I guess I'm a book burner, asterisk f-i-r-e-m-a-n. Chin diapers, and put them on adults. I go to old people's houses, and take their medication. I set fires to people's homes, help people get into car wrecks, put them in rivers, help flood their homes, and take down their smoke alarms. I sneak around construction sites, and loosen all the bolts, that hold the equipment in place, you'd never notice it until an earthquake strikes and suddenly a 20,000 pounds cooling tower comes crashing down the building. I still scan groceries, but instead of giving them to the customer, I put them back. I take cars, that have bright and colorful designs on them, and I peel off all the fun. Then I replace the designs with single boring colors. People now pay me to ensure nobody finds or remembers businesses. I'm a graphic designer, that specializes in car apps, currently.